Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome into our broadcast of Game 8 of the Treaton College Fighting Narwhals 2020 season. I am your host, Walter Moore, and as always, I am joined by my confidant from another continent, John P. Walrus. How you doing today, John? As always, I'm feeling great, Walt. Glad to be back home after that road tilt in Minnesota, although the spring pike really hit the spot for me. Can't wait to get back there for some more. Fish on the brain as always, John. Well, last week we saw the number five fighting narwhals dispatch Minnesota and their Heisman candidate running back as they racked up 35 points and shut out the Gophers. Last week also saw the first loss for the number one ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. And with that loss, the narwhals move into sole possession of first place in the Big Ten, as well up to uh, number four in the national rankings. This week, the narwhals bring in Illinois to Wilson Stadium. John, you want to tell us a little bit more about the Illini? I certainly do, Walt. Illinois is not ranked in the top 25, but they do boast a venerable passing offense. QB7 has over 1,700 passing yards at this point in the season. He'll face a tough test against Narwhal defense that ranks number one against the pass. Real test of wills here today, Walt. Thanks, John. Well, one more note before we get to the game. Uh, I wanted to let viewers know that our local sponsor has requested that his ad be played throughout the game. So we'll be taking breaks after the first and the third quarter. He mentioned something about, uh, quote, letting the mind breathe as the heart searches. So uh, hopefully we'll find out what that means. Well, without further ado, we'll take you down to kickoff. Welcome. All right, the teams are on the field for the kickoff. Illinois will be delivering the ball to the Treaton offense to start this game. That means they'll get the ball back to start the second half. But uh, let's get this going. The ball is fielded by Nick Fury. Brings it out, gets hit at the 18-yard line. That's where Treaton will start the day. The home team will start the drive at the 18-yard line. First and 10. Come out in the shotgun set. Roland takes. He's running the option. Pitches to Piggy, who gets smacked. Gain of two yards on that play there. Brings up second and eight for the Narwhals. Roland under center. Takes the snap, he's looking to throw. Delivers right. That ball was tipped, intended for Quimby. You know, Ramona Quimby's really come on in the last few weeks. Uh, she's nearly doubled her reception total, uh, playing a bigger part of this offense. Another no back set for the Narwhals. Roland drops back to pass, throws left. That ball's picked off. That Illinois defender just jumped right in there and snatched that ball out of the air. Yeah, it seems like Roland's uh, interception woes are gonna continue here today. Well, they've been winning games, John, but yes, Roland is prone to be uh, picked off by the other team. First down play for Illinois, big run up the middle. Gain of 16 yards. Robin Hood trailing the running back, brings him down. So it's first and 10 in Treaton territory. Illinois, quarterback takes. He's gonna take the ball himself. Breaks the tackle. Falls forward for a two yard gain. Stop on defense by Ignatius J. Riley. Second and eight for the Illinois offense. They come out in a split back set. Quarterback takes, he's gonna throw. Gets sacked. Big hit there by Craig Jones on the quarterback. So that's gonna knock him back six yards. Third and 14 for the Illinois offense. They're gonna throw again. 
Steps up and sacked again. That's Ignatius J. Riley with an eight yard sack there. Yeah, that Riley kid just keeps coming, plugging away. So Illinois is gonna attempt a field goal. That one's up and it's good. And the Treaton College fighting Narwhals trail for the first time this season. You know, it was bound to happen at some point, Walt. That kickoff is fielded by Piggy. Makes a move, breaks a tackle out to the 21-yard line. That Treaton offense is going to try and bounce back from that interception on their opening drive. They're down 3-0 here in the first quarter. Roland gives to Elephant. It's brought down. No gain on the play. Elephant's usually so reliable to uh, get at least three, four, five yards, but uh, he got hit in the backfield there. Well, Roland's gonna pass on this play. Over the right side, that ball's caught. Achilles makes a move, breaks the tackle, falls forward. Gain of 24 yards there. First down for the Narwhals. Yeah, if you see there, uh, Achilles only has 18 receptions. At this point, uh, Ramona Quimby is outpacing him. That's true, John. That last play was a three-yard run by Ralph S. Mouse, bringing up a second and seven. Roland's going to throw. Looking right. That ball's caught down the field. Ramona Quimby, age eight, with a big 35-yard gain. Narwhals are threatening now. Fullback motions. Roland turns, pitches left, there goes Piggy. Good blocking on the outside, that's a touchdown! Treaton College fighting Narwhals! Boy, Elephant did a, a really good job, if you see. He leads the block on the left side, takes care of that linebacker, and just keeps his feet moving up the field. Piggy's got an easy time running that one in for the touchdown. Pufferfish on for the extra point. That's good, so just like that, Treaton takes the lead back from Illinois and it's seven to three, fighting Narwhals. We'll be kicking off. Number 20, back deep to return. Pufferfish delivers the kickoff. That one's fielded at the one. Big hit there by Elephant on special teams there. And uh, Illinois will start their offensive drive at the 18 yard line. Illinois in the shotgun set, back to the quarterback's right. Takes, he's gonna throw, pump fakes, delivers down the middle. That ball was dropped. Yeah, that ball looked a little behind the receiver, uh, so I'm not gonna blame him for that one. The quarterback had the time to deliver it right on target and he just missed. Single back set, give to the running back, brought down in the backfield. Loss of two yards, big tackle there by left end uh, Inspector Javert. Well, folks, uh, time's winding down here in the first quarter. I believe uh, that's going to be it. And at the end of one, Treaton's up 7-3. to three. Here's your ad. Gallagher's Galleries. Hello. Welcome to Gallagher's Galleries, where life is art. Art is life. As you know, we have many fine paintings here at Gallagher's Galleries, many wonderful pieces of photography. But today we are going to talk about a very special type of piece, a type that includes artistic symbolism. What is artistic symbolism, you might ask? I will explain it. It is art that has symbolism. I just love me, that uh, Gallagher guy. Just love him, just love him. Well, in other news, it's third and 12 for the Illini. Quarterback's looking to pass. Steps up, throws long down the left side and overthrew his receiver. You know, the more 
pressure that the quarterback is under. Uh, the less time to, he's got to make mental decisions uh, on where to throw the ball, and uh, often it ends up in an incomplete pass. Well, Piggy took that punt and brought it back into Illinois territory at the 44-yard line. Rollins in the shotgun. Motion across formation. Takes, gives to Mouse on a draw up the middle. Nice seven yard gain there for diminutive Ralph S. Mouse, flexing his muscles there on that one. Offset eye. Roland turns and gives to Piggy. Gets hit hard and there's a fumble. That one's recovered though. I believe that was center Peter Mal Peter Malark who recovered that fumble. So the ball stays with the narwhals. It's first and 10. Eye formation. Roland gives to Elephant. Makes a cut up the middle. Gain of three yards. Yeah, that's the three yard eye and a cloud of dust I love seeing from uh, Elephant Gerald there. Single back set. Roland turns on a draw, gives to Ralph S. Mouse, who's hitting the backfield. That's a loss of one yard. That big hit looks like it hurt that defensive end more than it hurt Mouse. Third and eight now for the Narwell offense. Roland takes, throw into his left. That ball is caught by Austin Zerba, but brought down for no gain by that Illinois defense. So that brings up fourth and eight. Puffer fish on for the field goal. It's a 45-yard attempt. It's up, and it's good. And Treaton extends their lead to 10-3. to You know, you hate to settle for field goals, but uh, when this guy's kicking them, you know, it's good because uh, he's money from almost anywhere, and uh, those three points, if you can't get seven, three will do. That kickoff there from Pufferfish is brought back out to the 16-yard line. That's where Illinois will start with 2.26 left in the first half. Quarterback's going to pass. Throws over the middle. Caught. It's a gain of 10 yards there for that Illinois offense. They're short by a couple inches. Come back. Another pass here. Toss right is caught. It's a six yard gain there. That'll be a first down for the Illinois offense. They're gonna pass again, third play in a row. To the left, that ball's caught. It's a two yard gain. Nice tackle there on the outside by Medusa. Under two minutes here uh, left in the first half. Uh, I'm really interested to see if this team can move the ball down the field and score. It's going to be tough against this Narwhal defense. They're going to pass again, and here they all come, and that's a sack. That's another one for defensive tackle, Craig Jones. Seven-yard loss on that. All right, so it's third and 15 for the Illinois offense. Quarterback's looking to pass, throws down the left side. That ball is caught. Big gain for that Illinois offense, 35 yards on that pass play there. They're keeping chugging away here, hoping to score by the end of the half. It's another pass. That ball's tipped there on the outside. I believe that was Medusa there. Yeah, it could have been Medusa or Dale Cooper or the Mandalorian. Either way, there was too many black shirts there for that ball to be completed. Minute and eight left in the first half. Quarterback fakes the give to the running back. Steps up and throws. Delivers on the outside. The ball's tipped away by Medusa. They keep going back to her. Yeah, she is the uh, best cornerback on the team. I don't know why they don't try the other side. It's uh, patrolled by Fury and Little Lord Fauntleroy. Well, they're going to throw again here. This one's over the middle. Caught. Wide receiver's injured on that play. Big hit over the middle by one of those large linebackers. In any event, first and 10 for Illinois. Hot, hot, hot. 
Quarterback's looking to pass. Throws left. Ball's tipped. Incomplete. They're going to keep throwing it here. If they put the ball on the ground, it's more likely that the clock keeps running. Any incomplete pass will stop the clock. Well, there's another one right there for you, John. So that's two incomplete passes here in a row. Third and 10, quarterback in a shotgun, takes, throws over the middle. That ball is going nowhere. I think he got hit a little bit on that one. Uh, really affected the ball's trajectory and it just kind of bit the dirt. So Illinois is gonna try another field goal here. That one's up and good. From 44 yards, so that makes it 10-6. Treating our walls with 44 seconds left in the first half. Nick Fury takes that ball, makes a move, brings it out to the 24-yard line. Narwhal's got 41 seconds here to try and score. Yeah, I don't know if they should try and score. They, uh, they're going to kick the ball away to start the second half, so a score would give them a leg up, but uh, you don't want to take too many risks here at the end of the half. Well, they didn't there. Ralph S. Mouse ran that one for three yards. They're letting that clock tick. Tight end goes in motion. Another give to Mouse. It's brought down for one yard, and I believe the Narwhals are going to let the clock run out. And uh, at halftime here at Wilson Stadium, it's treating Narwhals 10. Illinois, six. Welcome to halftime, folks. Currently, the Narwhals lead Illinois 10 to six. And uh, what's that, Dan? Oh, okay. Well, I'm being told, Dan's telling me that we have Skip Turnbuckle on the line. Seems like this guy just shows up whenever he wants and uh, whatever. I guess here's Skip. Thank you, Walter and John. Skip Turnbuckle here to provide you with a much needed break from Walter's prattle, I mean commentary. A bit of a slow first half for your favorite unicorns of the sea today, as Illinois' defense is proving to be much tougher than expected. Uh, they've intercepted um, our quarterback, Roland Deshane, once already, and it's, it's proven to be pretty tough going for the offense so far. Luckily, the defense came to play uh, as they've held the bad guys to only six points so far this half. Craig Jones especially has been a terror, sacking the quarterback twice and putting him on ice. I tried to get a quote from Coach Football Pants about, about Craig Jones, uh, but he seemed to ignore me, kind of just ran to the locker room, yelling over his shoulder. Uh, he yelled, My name isn't Football Pants, you hack. It's... Uh, but then I couldn't catch that last part. Call me a hack. Uh, pretty strong words from old football pants there. I don't really appreciate that. I'm sure he'll lighten up when his team starts playing a little better, and hopefully that's the second half. That's all I have for you today. Back to you fellas in the studio, and go Narwhals. Nice of you to show up today, Skip. Well, uh, there's the halftime stats for you. So, John, do you have anything to add? I'm just really hoping that the Narwhals can put together a good second half. The pollsters are watching, and they're going to need some help if they expect to end up in the national championship game. Let's go, Narwhals! I agree, John. Well, here's the next part of our local ad. Here's a little bit more from Gallagher's Galleries. Gallagher's Galleries. To tell this story today, I'm going to use as an example one of our most famous pieces here in the galleries, one, uh, one by a very, very prominent, prominent local artist. It is called Joyous Fear. I'm very proud to show this to you today. Here it is. Isn't this complex? It's a 3D piece and uses much artistic symbolism. Let me walk you through it. This is the snow, the snow, purity, cold, beautiful, falls on a ledge just above the city. To some, the snow brings joy. 
the little Wanda Sue, who's here trying to catch the snowflakes. The snow brings a promise of joy. Wanda Sue looks at the snow and feels happy. Perhaps she's dreaming of what Santa may bring her. Perhaps Santa might bring her the ballet shoes that she has always wanted, but her family could never afford. Here is Wanda Sue's father, Sven. Sven is very busy tending his avocado trees. He knows if the snow falls down from the ledge on his avocado trees, the trees will be in trouble. His family fears that. They fear what the snow will bring. Wanda Sue can only think of the joy. Joyous fear. Ballet shoes, avocados. Take a moment to examine this complicated please a little more closely. As you look at it, write down what you might see in this piece. There. Wasn't that an extraordinary moment with art? I am Gilbert Gallagher. Thank you for spending time with us again at Gallagher's Galleries, where life is art. Art is life. Join us at Gallagher's. So how do you feel about that one, John? I feel invigorated. You can't drink while you broadcast. It's culture, Walt. All right, there's some stats for you on the screen. One glaring thing is that uh, Total yards for both teams is just over 150 for that first half of play. You could call this one a real war of attrition. Nonetheless, the Narwhals lead 10 to 6, and Pufferfish will deliver the ball with the kickoff to the Illinois offense to start the second half. The ball's taken in the end zone. Just looking for a hold, doesn't get too far. Only out to the 16-yard line. All right, so Illinois starts at the 16-yard line. Narwhals in a nickel defense. Illinois in the shotgun set. Motion across the formation. Quarterback takes, looking to throw, throws right. That ball's intercepted, and there he goes. All might for the touchdown! Treaton! College fighting Narwhals. Boy, that was just a, he stepped right in front of that ball and he had no one in front of him. Uh, just a great catch by a, uh, the middle linebacker and he runs it in for the touchdown. I think that's the spark this team needed. Puffer Fish with the extra point and Treaton adds to their lead to start the second half. They're up 17 to six on Illinois. Well, Puffer Fish is gonna do what he just did and Kick the ball back to the Illinois offense. Big hit there. I believe that was Elephant again on the tackle. And uh, the Illinois offense is going to start at the 18-yard line. Split back set. Throwing out of there. And he goes down. A big hit by defensive end Inspector Javert. It's a loss of five yards and a sack for the Treaton defense. Second and 15, shotgun set. 
Quarterback takes, gonna throw again. Just that ball sailed on him, that was incomplete. So it's third and long again for the Illinois offense. Quarterback under center, single back behind him. Turns, he's throwing again, that ball's caught. And who else but Nick Fury with a nice open field tackle. Short of the first down. So Illinois will face a fourth down and I believe they will punt. I've really enjoyed seeing Piggy field in punts. I know, I know, but Deuce did a great job uh, in the first half of the season, but having Piggy back there uh, just adds one more dynamic. Well, Piggy bounces off a would-be tackler and spins up into Illinois territory. Brings it to the Illinois 41. Another short field for these narwhals to work with. Roland's gonna throw. He's looking, throws right, that ball's caught. Austin Zerba with a 17 yard reception. Love that kid, love that kid. Roland's under center, no back behind him. Takes a snap, he's gonna run it, up the middle. Breaks the tackle, makes a move, and he's out for the touchdown! Treaton College fighting our walls. Another big score there by quarterback Roland DeShane. Yeah, that was a great, great run. He saw that no one was in front of him. Uh, he had no spy from the middle linebacker. He just tucked that ball and uh, scampered 24 yards for the Treaton touchdown. Pufferfish adds the extra point, so now Treaton, in just a matter of uh, really the first two minutes of this third quarter, have jumped out to a 24 to six lead. Two, two quick touchdowns to start the second half, and it looks like they're in control now. Yeah, control is a good term for it. You know, uh, Illinois was hanging around in the first half, but uh, when you get a bigger lead and the other team uh, has to pass more. It becomes more predictable, uh, easier to stop. Well, they didn't pass on that one. That was a toss to the left. Running back gained one yard, but was hit hard by Medusa. Second and nine. Single back behind the quarterback. Illinois quarterback looks to throw. He's rolling out, he throws, and that ball's picked off. Woo, John Valjean with the interception there. Fantastic, that gives possession right back to the Narwhal offense. They're on the uh, 25 yard line of Illinois. Quarterback Roland DeShane gives to Ralph S. Mouse who makes a couple moves. Falls forward for a five yard gain. I'm sorry, they started on the 29, so that brings them down to the 24. Roland's looking to throw, throws towards the end zone. That pass is deflected. That one was intended for Ramona Quimby. Incomplete. So it's third and five. Roland's in the shotgun. Ralph S. Mouse to his left. King Arthur motions across the formation. Roland takes, looking to throw, throws left. That ball's picked off. That's Roland's second of the day. Yeah, it might be his second interception, but when you look at the scoreboard, Treaton's in still in pretty good shape to win this one. They are, John, but down the road, those interceptions might cost him. Well, the interceptions are costly, but a sack, just like Ignatius J. Riley had, can be even more costly for the other team. Second and 14, quarterback gives on a draw up the middle. Two yard gain there and who else but Robin Hood right in there making that tackle. It's third and 12, Illinois looking for a first down. Quarterback's gonna throw, throws out to his right and just overthrew his receiver. I think there's about three black shirts out there with that receiver. Uh, would have been tough to thread that needle and get it right in there. Well, that brings up the punting situation for Illinois. Piggy fields it at midfield, runs directly forward, hits two tacklers. 
It's brought down at the 42 yard line. 42 yard line of Illinois for the Cheaton offense. Single back behind Roland. Two tight ends. Roland's going to throw. He's got time. Looks, throws right. That ball's caught. Ramona Quimby, 10 5. Touchdown, Narwhals. Boy, nothing complicated about that. No, he just threw the ball out there. Ramona caught it, turned on the Jets, and just outran all the defenders in for the Treaton touchdown. Pufferfish is going to kick an extra point here, and if it's good as it is, Treaton's going to go up on Illinois 31-6. to a few seconds left here in the third quarter. Pufferfish is going to deliver the ball back to the Illinois special teams. They're going to take the ball in the end zone. He thought about kneeling, but brought it out and it's brought down at the nine yard line. I'm sorry, 11 yard line there. So Illinois will start first and 10 from their own 11. Quarterback's in the shotgun, single back to his left. Fakes the give on the handoff and looks like he was going to take himself, but Ignatius J. Riley was there for another sack. How many does that give him on the day, John? Well, that's the third one for. Well, that's the third one for uh, Ignatius J. Riley. Third sack there. Well, we hit the third quarter break, so it's the start of the fourth quarter, second and 15 for Illinois on their own six yard line. Jumbo set, fakes the give to the running back, throws right, that ball's tipped away. Little Lord Fauntleroy out there, with the pass defended. That'll bring up another third and long situation for the Illinois offense. There's a split back set, running back motions out to the right, quarterback takes, looking to throw, he's got time, delivers right, throws into traffic and that ball is incomplete. I believe Mandalorian and Nick Fury were blanketing that wide receiver on that play, so that's going to force a punt from the Illinois offense. Piggy will field it around midfield, runs straight forward, and is knocked down. So the Treat Narwhal offense will take it at the 42-yard line. 4.43 left to go in the game. High snap there to Roland. Throws over the middle. That ball is caught by Ramona Quimby. She gains 15 yards before she's brought down. She's leading the team in catches today. Second and first and 10, offset eye for the Narwhals. Roland drops back, he's looking to throw, nope. Sacked. That linebacker just kind of ran around the offensive line yeah, it's kind of tough. If you got six guys coming and only five to block them, that leaves one extra, and I think he's the one that got to Roland on that. All right, so that makes it second and 15. Shotgun with motion across the formation by Pigeon. Roland takes, throws left. That ball's caught by Pigeon. It's a gain of nine yards there. Third and six for the Narwhal offense. High formation, tight end to the right. Roland takes, he's gonna throw, rolls out to his right, cannot evade the attacker, and he's brought down. That's a loss of nine on that sack, brings up fourth and 15, so Pufferfish will be on to try the 49 yard field goal. The ball's up, and it's no good. Yeah, that's unfortunate there, Walsh. You can't make them all, and it's good that this team already has uh, quite the lead, but uh, you hate to see a kid like that miss a kick, a makeable kick at that. Well, Illinois will start off at their own 32-yard line. 2.39 left to go in the game. Illinois quarterback takes, looking to throw. He's brought down in the backfield, and who else? but the man who's having the best day out of anyone, Ignatius J. Riley. Yeah, that's the fourth sack on the day for Riley. 
That makes it second and 20. Toss right. Brought down in the backfield. Robin. I believe that was Ignatius J. Riley again fighting through that offensive guard and making that tackle. Well, they're going to throw again. Illinois down the right side just overthrew his receiver. Yeah, it looked like he was uh, a little hurried there, just kind of launched that ball, hoping for something good to happen. And aside from a completion, an incompletion is the next best thing. Well, Illinois punts, and that punt goes out of bounds at the 47-yard line. So the Narwhals are going to take over at the 47. There's a give to Elephant over the middle. We're going to let this clock just tick, tick, tick on down. Come out in a jumbo set again. I formation behind the quarterback. Roland takes, gives to Piggy, he makes a move, and he's off to the races. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Narwhals! Boy, that was a good looking run, eh, John? Yeah, he takes the ball, he's got a lead blocker in front of him, gets caught up in the pile a little bit, then moves to the outside, turns on the afterburners, and just like that, he's in for the touchdown. Puffer fish on for the extra point. That one's good, so that makes it 38 to six with 102 left to go in the game. Think they should have eased up on that one, John? Well, they could ease up, uh, just try and run the ball out, but uh, sometimes mistakes happen, and if a mistake equals a touchdown, I'm not gonna complain too much. Well, the Illinois Receiver downs that in the end zone for the touchback. There's a minute left in the game. They've got the ball first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Illinois turns and gives to the running back. Nice gain up the middle. Seven yards. They're gonna use this timeout. Looks like they're practicing their two minute drill, John. Split back set, quarterback looking to throw, tosses right, that ball is batted down. It's third and three for the Illinois offense. They're in a jumbo set, they're gonna throw out of it. Quarterback throws to the right, that ball is tipped by none other than Count Olaf on the outside there. And so just like that, the ball is gonna go back to the Narwhals, Piggy fields it. Brings it out to about the 47 yard line. And the Narwhal offense will start there, hoping to run the rest of the clock out. They're in their goal line set, three tight ends, two running backs. Roland turns and gives to Piggy, makes a move, brought down. Only thing left to do in this game is cross the T's and dot the lowercase J's. Narwhal's gonna run one more play here, hand off to King Arthur over the middle and they're gonna let the time run out. And it looks like the Narwhals are gonna leave the stadium today with a big win. They beat Illinois 38 to six. Well, there's the game for you. Folks, Street and College fight Narwhals bounce back after a mediocre first half and beat Illinois 38 to six, just the win they needed. I've got a couple of stats here for you. Roland went seven for 11, 142 yards, one TD, two interceptions. Uh, he also had a 24 yard touchdown run. Piggy had five attempts for 63 yards and two touchdowns. Ralph S. Mouse had six attempts for 18 yards. Piggy's playing a much bigger part of the offense these days, but it's paying off. Um, Ramona Quimby, three receptions, 92 yards and a touchdown. And my player of the game is middle linebacker All Might, who had the 24-yard interception return for a touchdown in the third quarter, giving this team the spark it needed. Uh, John, who's your walrus of the game? My walrus of the game is Ignatius J. Riley, who had five tackles, all of them for a loss, and four of them sacks. He was getting to the quarterback faster and more often than he would a Bourbon Street hot dog cart. Uh, big game from Riley.
Thanks, John. Big game from a big fella. Well, join us for our next broadcast this Saturday at noon as Treaton takes on Purdue right here on AADL.TV. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that now. Well, Treaton beats Illinois 38 to 6. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a good one. Thank you.